ridiculous. Every time she comes in, it's the same. Could you put a little more pepperoni on just for me? <laughs> OK, so she got some extra pepperoni One. Yeah, then she told her friends, could I have extra mushroom and more onion? And then her parents. A bit more ham, then, just for us. OK, so everyone likes lots of toppings on their pan pizzas. What's the problem? I'll tell you the problem. I'm going to need a bigger truck. If you like extra toppings, you've got it made. special New Year offer for all readers of today. Okay. Two months satellite television absolutely free. That's what today will give you when you subscribe for 12 months. That's a saving of £40. See a new season of smash hit movies. England versus the West Indies, live. Plus up to six other new TV channels. No charge for equipment or installation. And your stars for 1990. Today's unique horoscope, birthday by birthday. For a brighter tomorrow, today. On your marks. Wednesday, 27th December. Get set. 8.30 a.m. Be there at the start. The sale, Debenhams. All their lives, they were told they mustn't. They shouldn't. They can't. <laughs> One year, they did. Some rules were meant to be broken. Kylie Minogue, the delinquents. At British Gas, we realize that just now, balancing the family budget may be a bit tricky. Winter bills tend to be on the heavy side, whereas in summer, they're much lighter. So we have easy payment plans that can spread out the cost of your gas bills evenly through the year. And if you ever have a really big problem with your gas bill, Contact your gas showroom, and we'll do our level best to sort that out for you, too. My true love sent to me. And a page of Into the 90s brings new comedy for New Year's Day at 8. Rowan Atkinson as the accident bro, Mr. B. Ebenezer Scrooge. What the dickens? Every day for the next three weeks, the Daily Mail is giving away holiday bonus vouchers worth five pounds each. Collect them and save pounds and pounds off the price of your apt holiday anywhere in the world. So you'll have even more money to spend on seeing the sights. <laughs> Before you book a holiday, collect your Four Corners holiday bonus tokens and save yourself pounds and pounds, starting tomorrow only in the Daily Mail.
At last, daily moisturizing care for tackling dryness. Not for your skin, but for your hair. Norion's conditioner from L'Oreal. Protein and silicone enriched, Norion's absorbs quickly to moisturize dry hair. Giving deep shine for the lightness of touch. Norion's from L'Oreal. Moisture and shine for dry hair. Because dry hair deserves that special care. If your car is running on 4-star, it could perhaps use SO Super Plus unleaded right now without converting the engine. Unlike ordinary unleaded, it has the same octane power as SO 4-star, so there's no loss of performance. It's cheaper than our 4-star, and environmentally, it makes more sense. SO Super Plus unleaded. You may be able to switch to it right now without converting your engine. Check with our brochure. I say, what's going on over there? It's what's coming off that's important. Turn a lawn down to 5.75 a meter. Furnishing cotton to 5.95. But it's Christmas. Varuna wool at 11.50. It gets more and more material every year. You can start taking liberties on Wednesday. How did George Graham plan to snatch the title with almost the last kick of the season? I'll tell you in this. Inside Football, the best football magazine I've ever seen. Inside Football covers the lot, the agony, the ecstasy, the skills, the spills, the all-time heroes, tomorrow's superstars, the great games, the great clubs. So get Inside Football now if you really want to know the score. Le Piador. <laughs> Beginning tomorrow at 9, Judith Krantz's Till We Meet Again, a mini-series of passion and destiny. Yeah, it smells like we've done a hundred. Oh, what a sight. Oh, what a smelly shirt. You two need a wash, and so do those shirts. That's where new Radian Automatic goes into action. Not only does it tackle all kinds of dirt effectively, it also removes stale odours most detergents leave behind. Now that's more like it. And it smells clean too. New Radian <laughs> removes dirt and odours. Enjoy yourself in 1990 with Kali Minogue, including the smash hit Never Too Late. Enjoy yourself from Kali Minogue and out now the videos volume two. Have you bought any presents yet? Yeah, I think I've got everybody's except Paul's. So, you had a good time then? Yep, we had a great time. <laughs> Where's my present? There's yours, Paul. Find a tetlis? I don't get this. Well, what's this then? What's your favourite TV programme, Paul? <laughs> Miami Vat. <laughs> Telly Bitter. You've got to hand it to him. Pronto? Introducing Napolina Tomato Pronto. A rich blend of juicy tomatoes, puree, herbs, and seasonings. Specially made to transform all your casseroles. So next time you're cooking with tomatoes, tomato pronto. Napolina. find bags and bags of bargains at the Selfridges sale. It starts tomorrow, and it's bigger than ever. Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal in one of the comedies of the decade, when Harry met Sally.
This Thursday on ITV, join William Hurt and Tom Berenger, Glenn Close, Jeff Goldblum and Kevin Klein, all together for the big chill. Stay up with ITV for Boxing Night at the Movies. You want it, Will? You a party hunter? He's got to do something for a living these days. From the past to the future, escape from New York. Suppose he's dead, Hawk. Get them both back, Pliskin. And there's trouble for Paul McCartney. Harry and the tapes are missing. Well, what are we gonna do? And the consequences will be very serious. Serious viewing, Boxing Night at the Movies on ITV. Wouldn't you like to turn a plain cloth into a work of art? Add that personal touch to your clothes or create something special for someone special. It's easy with Embroidery Magic, a new fortnightly pack with everything you'll need. There are six inspiring ideas with clear step-by-step -step instructions and reusable transfer patterns. Plus a file of all the stitches and skills from cross-stitch to smocking. So, now you can create your own Embroidery Magic. Texas, end of year sellout, ends 8 p.m. Thursday. Don't miss it. Do you know what your mouth is? It's a battleground, because your breath is constantly under attack from drinking, smoking, eating rich food. But we are armed with these. New clarets, breath fresheners with actors alter, help neutralize nasty nifs. Of course, Ron here can freshen your breath by simply removing your head and sticking it in a washing machine. But clarets are a lot nicer. -er. Yeah. Hmm. Clarets, the breath freshener with actors are. Where is it, Paul? First door down the corridor. Paul? Paul? <laughs> Sorry, didn't realize. Can you try the other Sorry. to tell us, please, Bob. Where were you? Where was I? Where were you? What I told you. First room no, no. around the corner. I went down there, I opened the door, <laughs> and <laughs> you <laughs> heard... <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Telly Bitter. You've got to hand it to him. All their lives, they were told they mustn't. They shouldn't. They can't. <laughs> One year, they did. Some rules were meant to be broken. Kylie Minogue, the delinquents. On December 27th, Thomas Cook start offering summer holiday discounts of up to 120 pounds. Anyone would think it was Christmas. The Allied Maple Sale starts with extra savings on hundreds of carpets and furnishings for the first seven days. It's all at your new Allied Maple store now. We're getting ready for the Reader's Digest greatest ever prize draw. When the draw takes place, these lights will show us where the prize winners live. Some of them could be living in the London television area. And someone, somewhere, is going to win the first prize of £150,000. So if you're lucky enough to get some prize draw numbers, return them immediately. Because the sooner you enter, the more you could win. This is Thames Television from London. Now we go over to the studios of ITN for the latest news. The news from ITN.
tried and executed, Romanians see their dead dictator. Demonstrators warn political changes must be quicker. The price of freedom for the people of Bucharest. And sport, Desert Orchid equals the record. Good evening. The people of Romania have been shown pictures on television of their dead dictator, former President Nicolae Ceausescu. He was shot by firing squad with his wife Elena after being tried for genocide. And a new government's been formed. The president is Ion Iliescu, a former Communist Party official, and the prime minister is Petre Roman. The new leaders announced sweeping changes. Travel restrictions are being lifted. The village destruction plan is being ended, and abortion will be made legal. Thousands of dead are being buried, and the Soviet Union has set up a 6,000-bed hospital on the border to treat the injured from the civil war. Paul Davis has been inside the state television station in Bucharest throughout the day. The new government has made this television station its provisional headquarters. Its leaders have been meeting here throughout the day. They've been broadcasting to the people, explaining their thoughts on the country's future. After some disagreement, they decided to show on television the body of the dead president. Just one week ago, he was an all-powerful tyrant. Here, like a common criminal, Nicolae Ceausescu is unceremoniously bundled from an armored car, making his last journey before his execution. Romanian television showed these pictures early this morning, a short time after they announced that the deposed president had been shot dead by a firing squad. The 71-year-old former leader is seen undergoing a statutory medical test. This remarkable scene is said to have been filmed yesterday just before the president's trial. These pictures, the first hard proof that President Ceausescu was in fact a prisoner of the new regime. His 70-year-old wife, Elena Ceausescu, is also seen. She faced similar charges to her husband and is said to have met the same fate. The couple appeared remarkably relaxed considering the fact they'd been jointly charged with genocide, the murder of 60,000 Romanians. The pictures of the president were broadcast from here inside the television station that is also the headquarters of the country's new leadership. But the transmission immediately sparked an angry dispute within this building. The newscaster told viewers that the TV technicians wanted to show proof that the president had been executed, but were being stopped by senior bureaucrats within the TV center. Television Free Romania then played the country's new national anthem. On 15 separate occasions, viewers were told to stay tuned to see how the power struggle turned out. Behind the scenes, there were heated exchanges. The television staff protesting at the censorship from above. It's just like the bad old days, one said. In a small-scale reproduction of last week's revolution, the soldiers protecting the TV center became involved, backing those demanding that evidence of the president's death be shown to the world. And this afternoon, the TV station showed the crumpled forms of two bodies at the foot of a bullet-ridden wall, one clearly that of Romania's former dictator. The decision to broadcast those pictures was in fact taken in a television studio just a few yards across the corridor from where I'm sitting now. This afternoon, the leaders of the new government of national salvation met there once again. With me now is Victoria Onescu, a newscaster who, through his work here, has become a spokesman for the new regime. Victoria, what... Weather remains in rather placid mood for the rest of tonight and tomorrow. You've got light winds in the north and light south to southeasterly winds there over southern England. They are tending to put, trying to push a, a weak warm front up across the country, but it is, as I said, very weak, so just bringing a little rain and drizzle from time to time. Now, in the north, with the light winds and clearing skies, you're likely to find some freezing fog patches coming along. But further south, rather more in the way of cloud, and the odd outbreak of mostly light rain and drizzle. Now, with the clear skies in the north, frost a problem, I think, icy roads too by the morning. Further south, though, a little bit milder, but even so, the cloud may thin enough just to allow a touch of ground frost. Now, tomorrow sees much of England and Wales rather on the cloudy side, but a lot of the cloud, particularly in the north, thin and high, allowing some sunshine from time to time. Though in the south, the cloud thick enough to give you 
one or two light showers. As we go through the day, the thick of cloud tending to edge a little bit northwards, bringing one or two outbreaks of mostly light rain, but the, the rain well scattered, in many places likely to miss out. The further north you go, though, the brighter it becomes in general. Northern Ireland, much of southern and eastern Scotland, a mostly dry day, quite sunny too. Though when you get right up into the far north, you'll see some showers coming along from time to time. Temperatures tomorrow, not too different from what we saw today, mostly between 7 and 9 degrees Celsius. That's 45 to 48 Fahrenheit. That's it. Good night. Now, Boxing Night at the Movies, starring Clint Eastwood, the outlaw Josie Wales.